Okay guys, so imagine this, you want to take a picture of something in the dark, right? You pull out your phone, you open up the camera app, and you start looking for dark mode, but it isn't there. You might have an iPhone 10 or below. And you tell yourself, well, the only thing I can do is either upgrade or uh, jailbreak my phone and download a dumb tweak that might not even work. What if I told you there's an app for dark mode? And before you click away, bear with me because this app is absolutely amazing and I'm not even sponsored by these guys. And I'm not just going to stand here and tell you how good this app is. I'm going to show you guys samples. Uh, but before we do that, let's hop into the app's settings. As you guys can see, you can change the photo resolution. You have a really nice variety of resolutions, which is always welcome. You can also change the photo format between JPEG, TIFF, whatever type of format suits you better. I have it set to TIFF because it's a lossless format. Above the shutter button, there are more options. If you want to, you can mess around with them, but I don't. I only use the uh, autofocus, but again, if you want to, you can change the white balance or whatever you want to do, but I don't because it always gets it spot on. Um, also, this app works on absolutely every single iPhone from the iPhone 5S and up. As you guys can see, I'm using this iPhone 18, this really beautiful color, and I also tested it myself on the iPhone 7 and it works just as well. By the way, this app is paid, but I didn't pay for it before I dislike this video. I'm going to show you how I got it for free. I uh, went on to YouTube and typed in Premium Apple ID and then selected the videos that have been uploaded this last hour. Choose the video with the least amount of views that has the password and the email in the description and you want to log into that account in the App Store and uh, go to My Purchases and you'll find it there with a bunch of other free apps like Luma Fusion and so on. I didn't pay for this app guys, don't worry. If you want to, you can use this app in the day, uh, but I don't recommend it because it blows out the background and also increases the saturation. Just look at this comparison. I don't know why it does that. Um, but uh, if you want that much color, just go into a photo editor and increase the vibrance. This app is not made for the day, let's be honest. It's made for the night. That's where it should shine. So this beautiful sky, let's make it dark. Okay, it looks much better now, to be honest. Yeah, the sky does look much better. But as you guys can see, it's pretty darn dark. And look at the viewfinder. Look how much light it picks up. I know the iPhone that I'm recording this with, it's making everything a bit darker, but um, the viewfinder was so much brighter than I could see with my eyes. And as you guys can see, I had to turn on the flashlight because it was that dark outside. It's just so I can show you, I uh, used the phone on a tripod and I'm also going to use it with my hands. You don't need a tripod for this. Okay, so jumping into the app with the screen recorder on all you have to do is just to tap the auto button in the middle there the autofocus uh and then press the shutter button and as you guys can see let it process for a bit and and look at this guys tell me this isn't amazing tell me this isn't worth the money even though you didn't pay for the app this looks really really nice i did not expect results like this when i first saw the image you can also manipulate the image if you want to you have some uh, settings there, you know, you can make everything uh, a bit more softer, sharper, mute the colors, you can do whatever you want. It's really cool that it's, uh, this app lets you manipulate that. I really respect that. Again, look at the viewfinder, look how dark it was outside. As you guys can see, I'm, just, uh, I'm not using the tripod again, I'm using my hands. So uh, just to give you a better idea that you don't need a tripod. Uh, pressing the shutter button, um, wait for a bit. And to be honest, this image will turn out a bit weird. Some people don't want this, uh, as you guys can see uh, right now. Yeah, uh, um, a bit too saturated, but you can turn down the saturation. When someone takes a picture in the dark, they want to know it was dark. This looks a bit artificial because of the saturation. Again, you can turn it down a bit. I don't even know how the app knew the sky was that blue. Anyway, the next shot I'm the most proud of like this will look amazing just wait for a bit this is what happens by the way when you press the auto button it chooses the focus range for you anyway you press the shutter button and uh you're going to see why i said this is my favorite picture out of them all it looks so natural and so damn good like look at this guys how does it pick so much information i literally have no idea i didn't see any car with my bare eye but when i look in the picture there's a car there how does it do this this is so, so damn amazing. I don't know how it does this. Um, some phones have taken years to perfect this. This app that comes out of nowhere did it really well. Even my dog agrees, as you guys can see. Um, if you don't have the money to upgrade to an iPhone XS and up, this app, it's really worth it. Trust me, this is really, really good. Anyway, guys, that was it. Download this app, please. It's so damn good. You can get it for free. 
so easily. Just get it. What's stopping you?